Hey, what's up guys? Garden here, coming to you guys with a video today, and uh, yeah, we're going to go over my Carfight Vanguard accessories. So, this is all the stuff that I use uh, for Vanguard, um, all the different products, so we're going to go over, over everything in this video. Uh, I will put timestamps in the description for every different product that I talk about. So, uh, yeah, let's get stuck into it, shall we? So, the first thing we'll go over are card sleeves. So, this is the bare bones discussion of everything, uh, accessories-wise, so... Yeah, of course, the inner sleeve that I like to use are the Busherud sleeves. Uh, typically, I get, I get these on eBay. And uh, Busherud make these for either, like, the units or the characters or whatever you want, really. Uh, but it's typically units and characters. And, uh, of course, I got the Aichi ones for my Royal Paladin deck. Uh, yeah, so, like I said, I usually get these on eBay. And they usually cost somewhere between 10 and 20 usually. Um, depends on what, what the sleeve is, obviously. Um, and in order to oversleeve these, I put them in the standard size Dragon Shield clear mats, um, which I have already done a video on already. Uh, and funnily enough, I found out that that video is actually the most popular video on my channel, uh, <laughs> which I found very funny. I was sleeve reviews, like the most popular thing. But yeah, um, so one thing I will say about the Dragon Shield clears is that they're just really, really durable, uh, really strong, very affordable and accessible, which is the two main things about them. Uh, and you also get a hundred sleeves in here. So uh, what I've actually done with these is that this one here, uh, this one's actually for my standard decks. As you can see, I've got standard on the top. So these 100 sleeves are sleeving both my uh, Royal Paladin deck and my Gold Paladin deck. So of course being 50 card decks each. And then I actually have a separate box to put the sleeve mark, uh, the, the imaginary gift markers on them. Because uh, obviously I think I've got like eight of each gift marker uh, with, uh, with these decks. So that is that. So, uh, yeah, we'll put those there. And uh, these box here, this one is my G format deck, which is over here. And then I have my uh, premium sleeves, which I use here. Uh, and in fact, I think the premium sleeves, these are the ones that I use to sleeve my gift markers as well, if I remember. So, yeah, there you go. So now we will talk about deck boxes. So with deck boxes, I like to use the... Uh, the Ultimate Guard uh, Boulders. As you can see down here, it says Boulder Deck Case. And these are the 80 plus. I know you can't really see that that much, but uh, I've got the camera on lock at the minute, so it won't autofocus or anything and annoy you. So, yeah, these are the 80 plus uh, Boulders for Ultimate Guard. Uh, very, very nice because they fit the cards in perfectly, essentially. You know, there's enough room there for your markers and your main deck. Um... Yeah, it's just the perfect size, and uh, I see no reason not to get these. Uh, you could get the bigger one, which is up here. This is the 100 plus size. Uh, you might be able to see that there, uh, 100 plus. Uh, and the reason I use the 100 plus on this one is that this is my premium deck. So uh, before we start making a mess here, uh, I'll just put that back on top and move these over here. So this is my premium deck, uh, my blasted premium deck, of course. Uh, I'm thinking about doing another deck profile on this just as an update. But yeah, as you can see, we have the 50 card main deck here, the imaginary gifts here, which I think there's only four there because only Messianic can make them. Um, and then we have the G zone back here, um, of course. So yeah, there's a lot more cards there. So 16 card G zone, four gifts, that's 20. And then you got the 50 card main deck. So that's 70 cards there, oversleeved. So I got the bigger deck box and uh, yeah, it fits them perfectly. So there you go. So that is my premium deck. And I use the eighty, uh, the one hundred plus size uh, deck box, uh, Boulder Ultimate Guard deck box to store that. Now, one thing I will give a negative uh, criteria about these boulders is that the they do scratch easily, and it's sometimes the material on these boxes can actually peel over time. Uh, I know it's happened to me before. Uh, I don't think it's necessarily happened to any of these uh, recently, but. Oh yeah, shout out to uh, Draw the Trigger because uh, I actually got this uh, Aichi Sendo sticker from them ages ago um, and I just uh, completely forgot about that. So yeah, that's on the side there. So uh, yeah, shout out to you, Draw the Trigger. Um, and yeah, this is a Aichi sticker that my friend Kara gave me. I think it was like a year ago or something. So yeah, that is obviously the uh, the Royal Paladin deck, as you can imagine. And uh, yeah, Gold Paladin. Uh, I decided to get the yellow... Um, deck box and obviously the blue one for royals because that identifies the imaginary gift type as well so this is my excel deck and this is my force deck now you're probably thinking where is grand blue because that would be green obviously um for protect 
I don't have the deck anymore. Uh, I actually decided to sell Grand Blue. Uh, I wasn't using it enough to kind of justify the reasoning to buy the cards. So yeah, I just decided to get rid of them, sold it to a friend, um, and I just decided to stick on my Paladin decks. And I think that's about right for me. Um, if there's anything in the game that I'm going to play, it's going to be my Paladin decks. Um, Shadows is off limits because that's my friend Wingy's deck. Um, <laughs> so uh, I did play Shadows in the past uh, during Break Ride uh, with Revenges, but... Yeah, Shadows has always belonged to him. So, yeah, I just stick to Golds and Royals. So, there you go. So, yeah, those are the Boulder deck boxes uh, for my Standard decks and my Premium deck. Now, over here is my G deck. Now, for my G deck, I like to use this Ultimate Guard uh, Flip and Tray. You might have noticed the trend at the minute that I kind of like Ultimate Guard products. Um, Dragon Shield, I really like for their sleeves, and I know that they've got some really nice deck boxes as well, so by all means check those out as well, but Ultimate Guard is just something that I've used a lot for a long time now, and no jokes, I, th I even think that match tube is Ultimate Guard as well, you can kind of see it there, it's, yeah, it's an Ultimate Guard match tube. Yeah, I like Ultimate Guard, yeah, uh, spoiler, but, um, yeah, this is the Ultimate Guard flipping tray, and again, I've had this one for, I don't know, two years now? Still using it. Uh, it's a little bit scuffed, as you can see, but hey, it still works. So, yeah, this one holds my G deck, which, as you can see here, um, I have a Gurgwit G deck now. So, I actually decided to build Gurgwit for G because I moved all of my Royal Paladin stuff over into Premium, and uh, I didn't want to build Ezel. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, um, I decided to um, put Gurgwit as my G deck, basically, for the G format. Uh, it was something that I I didn't really finish back in the day because I couldn't keep up with affording the new cards that Gurgit got. So I eventually just stopped buying them and then I just focused on saving up for the Aichi Legend deck, which uh, didn't get announced yet, but I was I was more than confident it was going to happen because Ren got one, Kai got one, obviously Aichi would get one. So I was kind of waiting for that to get announced and uh, yeah, eventually got announced in 2017, I believe it was. Wow, was it that long ago? Wow, that's uh, that's been a while. Wow, time flies, doesn't it? So uh, yeah, I just stuck with Blasters and G for a while, and uh, until Standard came out, and uh, yeah, I decided just to pick Gurgwit up because it was always that deck that I did play back in the past, but I just never finished it um, or bothered to get the new the newer support for it. Um, I kind of stopped about halfway through when that starter deck came out, and uh, yeah, I've played this deck, and it's actually really fun. So uh, yeah. That is my G deck. Uh, so the other reason why I like this deck box is uh, it also stores my dice. And uh, <laughs> I absolutely love this dice tray. I get this dice tray out every time I play any game. Whether it's Magic, Pokemon, Vanguard, whatever. Um, I get this dice tray out because it's just got everything I need. You know, I've got these yellow dice to keep track of my critical triggers. Uh, these blue dice, of course, are for like power allocations or keeping track of tokens or damage or whatever. Um, and then these 20-sided dice, uh, I don't really like them that much um, because the numbers are all over the place. Uh, I kind of want a dice like this, um, but has like the spin-down mechanic of the Magic the Gathering dice. But I just haven't seen any yet that I like. Um, but yeah, I mainly just use these to like track huge amounts of power. So say if I was using Soul Saver Dragon, I would use that 15 to say, you know, all of my field has 15,000 power. You know, something like that. So track something big or some sort of big effect, I'd probably use those 20-sided dice for. Um, or if I have, like, loads of tokens and magic or something, I could use that as well. But, yeah, I absolutely love this dice tray. It's such a nice size, and it's so convenient. It, like, it like fits in the top right-hand side corner of my map perfectly. Um, and then underneath it, I will have my deck. So that's kind of how I like having my setup. Uh, with my card games. So there we go. So that is my flipping tray. So the last thing we need to look at is my mat tube. So like I said, this is an ultimate guard mat tube. <laughs> I can, you know, it's, it's quite funny. I don't, I don't really, I didn't really notice how many ultimate guard things I have, but yeah, they're just all great products. Um, I just love them and they do what I need them to do. So this is the ultimate guard, uh, mat pod, I believe it's called mat pod. Um, but yeah, it's simply just a mat tube for your play mat. Uh, don't really need to talk about it that much. Uh, it's got a little button up here that you can press. Now, this should open up on, on its own. But the reason mine doesn't is because the rubber inner lining that was on this uh, lid, uh, mine fell off um, earlier this year. And I tried to put it back on, but yeah, it just wasn't sticking. And um, 
yeah, I decided to just leave it. And to be honest, it's fine because you can still close it. Uh, the lid stays shut. It won't open unless you push uh, push that button in and then give it a little nudge for the lid to pop open. And it's a great, it's a great amount of space. And um, yeah, of course, in here, I keep my play mat. Now, I will not talk about play mats because play mats, I feel like, is completely up to you. You can use whatever play mat you feel like using. As long as you're putting something on your table to prevent your card from getting, like, you know, any residue that's on the table or drinks or whatever or, like, dust, just have a play mat on your table to protect your cards. Simple as that. You can use any play mat you want. I don't really care. Um, I like using the Warcraft mat just because it's got the Lich King on it. It's got Tyrion Forging and World of Warcraft. And, uh, yeah, if you've seen my How I Got Into Vanguard video... Uh, which I did ages ago now, um, you would know that World of Warcraft was one of the major things in my life that actually got me into Vanguard because Paladins. Because I played a Paladin on WoW, and uh, when I found out that Vanguard had Paladins in them, I was interested and got into the game. So, yeah, it's quite nice to have a Warcraft map just to, um, I don't know, just to remember that by, really. So I'm just going to fold this up. And uh, yeah, it fits really nicely inside the tube. Just put it in here. There's more than enough space. Uh, the walk, this Warcraft mat's quite thin. Um, so if you've got a thicker mat, I wouldn't worry too much because there's a really a large amount of space in here. You could fit any size mat really inside of this. And like I said, it keeps it secure. The lid stays on quite tightly. And uh, yeah, I've had no problems with it. And oh yeah, it's very, very durable. Very, very durable. Um, it's like a circular shape and you can see here hopefully just how strong this is. It's really really strong uh, But yeah, this is by far my favorite match tube I've ever used um, I've used like the ultra pro one and the monster one in the past But none of them were as good as this one. I will say that So yeah, that is it uh, for all of the accessories that I use. Um, I don't really need to go over my bag do I? I mean, it's just a standard backpack rucksack, whatever you want to call it um, I've got a little Aichi keyring there, which uh, Steve and Kara got me from uh, Malaysia when they went on holiday. So that was really nice of them. But yeah, it's just got enough space in here for all of my stuff to go in. I usually have like my tube over here, uh, then my Ultima Guard flipping tray, and then I just lay all of my uh, deck boxes like down here on top of each other like this. I just stack them up. And that is pretty much how I pack my stuff. And I've also got this back bit here, which you could put a binder back here if you use them. Um, it doesn't store the big binders that well <laughs> in my bag specifically, but uh, if you've got like a small four pocket binder, that's absolutely fine as well. So yeah, uh, that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, yeah, tell me guys what you think about these products in the description below. And like I said, I'll have timestamps of everything. So uh, yeah, hope this uh, video helped. Hope you found someone that you liked. And uh, like always, guys, hope you guys enjoyed. And this is Guardian, signing out. I'll see you in the next video. See you later, guys. Bye.